Good morning, loves, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 4. I'm a little discombobulated. Okay, so I am brewing that... Showed you the wrong side of the mug. It's so cute. I can't believe I, Candy Fox, do not have a Christmas mug at my house. I must have not brought them over here when I moved. So there's a, a definitely Christmas mugs at Roger's house. So I will have to see if he will give me one of those. But I'm brewing the breakfast blend right now. And I did peek at day four. I didn't look at the, the flavor, but I pulled it out and looked at the back of it. And it's only one on the caffeine scale. So I'm gonna do day four tonight. But then starting tomorrow, I will do the tea in the morning. Um, that way I'm not, you know, getting all confused. So I'm gonna let that seep for a few. I gotta get ready for work. Um, today is Wednesday. I hope that what I'm, what I'm waiting on to go pick up my car is the money for my insurance company to be deposited into my account so that I can take the down payment to the dealership. They've already done all the financing. They're just waiting on that. And I have until the 11th. Get down, babe. You just want to pair it on my shoulder. Um, but I have until the 11th to get them the money. My insurance company said that it should be there today. Um, I had to fill out some paperwork on Monday and it said one to two business days after that. So hopefully the money comes in today. If not, it'll be in tomorrow and I'll go pick up the car. And if it's not there tomorrow, I'm going to be upset. Cause I want, I want my, my, I want my car. <laughs> I could pick it up. Okay, so the real tea is I could go pick it up, and then just take them the check whenever. But the place that I bought it is up by my mom and my sister's house, um, where I went to college and stuff. And it's like a 45 minute drive, and I don't want to make multiple drives, or have Roger make multiple drives because he's gonna have to take me to pick up the car. Um, not have to, but I asked him and he said yes. So, we're just waiting on that long explanation for something that didn't need to be so long. So, um, okay, so I did use boiling water in this tea. Let's see if I can show you guys how dark it is. Looks like a very nice tea. So, let's see. It's still pretty hot. It's just a nice black tea. Um, I am not a sweet drinks person usually. So I don't put anything in my tea. I just like it plain. <laughs> in fact, the other morning <laughs> I got um, an iced coffee. Just, just the coffee from... Where did I go for breakfast the other... Oh, I went to Panera for breakfast the other day. They have these grain bowls. I really want to recreate these grain bowls so we might do that at some point um, probably not during vlogmas because I've been wanting to do it for a while and I'm just lame as shit about doing stuff like that so <coughs> anyway uh, I, I feel like I'm off my game this morning but I need to get going because I have to go to work and it's 7 30 or 7 13 so we gotta do something quick all right so the other day I tried a sample of pretty vulgar you guys didn't see that because I didn't include the boxycharm um in boxycharm last month they sent concealer samples one of them was pretty vulgar and it was their very lightest shade they they sent four different colors and I tried the lightest shade now I'm gonna try this medium -er shade this is the light medium one I don't know why I tried to show you the back what's the point anyway focus candy okay 
So I'm gonna moisturize with my Origins Ginseng Energy Boosting Gel Moisturizer. It's almost gone. It's so sad how much is gone out of here. <sighs> and it didn't go on sale on Black Friday. <laughs> so I didn't buy any. Um, I do have a gift card from my birthday, I think, from my dad for Ulta. So, if I really, really want to get it, I will. But, let me get this spread on. Spread it on. Stop. Do you know what that, what movie that's from? If you do, we can be friends. It's from Super Troopers. <laughs> I don't know why I love that movie so much. It's like... For me, Super Troopers is one of those dumb, stupid movies that I will watch over and over and over and over again. Because I can sit there and laugh the entire time. I've probably got one more application in here. But I did get this Neutrogena Hydro Boost Whipped Body Balm with Hyaluronic Acid for dry to extra dry skin. And I have, I've used this a couple times. This one's huge and this one's only like $6. I do like it. I just really like the citrus scent of this one. It hits different. Is that what the kids say nowadays? It hits different. All right. So let's, let's try this concealer out. Maybe if I turn on my mirror light, that'll help. I don't know. Am I in focus or not? Like, I can't even tell anymore. Okay. I think I look all right. Okay, so this might be too dark. Like I said, this is the light to medium. The other one was fair to light. Yeah, I don't see this going well. Hi, babe. Good morning. Don't touch my tea. You're going to burn your tongue. There she goes. <laughs> Yeah, I think this is going to be a little too dark for me. I don't know, maybe that'll help. Who knows? I'm, I'm, I'm not a beauty guru. I just like makeup. Sis, get off of that shelf. Not so bad yeah that's not it's not great probably my fault oh let me put a little bit more on and grab a beauty blender okay so I got this box thingy of beauty blenders I've already used one where did I put it hello you were just here I like literally saw you this morning anyway it's from Amazon they're all just all different color beauty sponges not beauty blenders because that's a brand but we all know it's almost like Kleenex tissue it's a facial tissue but Kleenex is the brand okay that didn't work like terribly I feel like the lighting is shit there we go so the color is not terrible but I should have put a color corrector underneath. So there's a little bit more in here. 
I'm gonna try to save it set it right there and maybe I'll try tomorrow with a color corrector underneath I'm just gonna set it with some fit me powder can't find anything this morning oh I bet the cats have the that beauty blender somewhere they love to grab shit off my desk and just like run off all right there we go that's my under eyes done i don't know how fancy i'm gonna get today since i'm running late ah oh, and lou's already online so my friend lou that i went to see in cleveland just a friend i saw a couple people ask you know if he was a boyfriend or something no he has a girlfriend we're just online friends and he just means a lot to me he um has been always super supportive and just awesome and I can't say enough nice things about him uh, but anyway he's back to streaming this week and so it's nice to have something to listen to at work even though I miss some stuff because you know work can get busy but if I'm doing you know data input and stuff it's it's a good time I have been, let me get some more tea. Oh, it's so nice. It's got that bitterness that like I like. Um, but yeah, he hadn't been streaming for quite a while and now he's back and hashtag production value is up and I'm so proud of him for getting back into it. I'm like, I'm one of those supportive friends. Something I didn't show you guys last night or tell you is I actually played some video games last night. I played Borderlands 3 for like an hour. Um, I just... I wanted to and <laughs> it's been a while since I've played games so uh, I used the Too Faced Chocolate Bomb Bomb palette for my eyes I'm gonna use the Revolution Makeup eyeliner I realized the first day I didn't tell you guys anything I was putting on my face so I apologize for that I'm gonna go for this like green shade underneath. It's called Teaspoon. This is by ColourPop. If you haven't tried their gel cream liners, oh, they're so good. Or cream gel, however they do it. What is all this makeup all over my hand? Where's all this guy? For mascara, I'm gonna use the Hank and Henry double ended one. I love this mascara. We got this in BoxyCharm and I will definitely repurchase it. Um, I took the Hank and Henry liner on vacation with me and it opened up in my makeup bag and dried completely out because I only wore makeup like twice. So when I went to wear makeup for the first time, I'd been on the road for like a week, and yeah. So I will probably buy that and this at the same time. Okay, that's the eyes done. I'm gonna brush some shit on my face, Ugh. and then I'll be ready to go. Using the Too Faced Natural Face Palette. You guys know this is like my favorite. Ever since I got it. I like to put bronzer everywhere, especially on my cheeks because I think it brightens up my face.
There we go. And highlight. Boom, we done. I like to do a little right here. I'm not even gonna do my brows today, they look fine. There we go. I am gonna use this e.l.f. Berry Perfect. I, I think it's just like, it's not a lipstick, it's like a hydrating lip gloss almost. A lip tint maybe. See, and it just adds just a little bit and I love it. So I'm ready for work and I'm gonna go now. <laughs> Actually, I'm not ready because I don't have my clothes on, but you know what I mean. And I will see you guys after work. All right, guys, we had a slight change of plans today. Uh, the money came in so that I could go pick up my car, and I'm in it right now. Oh, oh. I will get out and show you guys. I just, I'm so excited. Um, I don't think the paperwork's done, though, because the finance guy wasn't there, and the guy that I talked to had no idea what was going on. So... I gave them my money, <laughs> he put it in my folder, and he's like, I will have so-and-so call you. And I was like, okay, that works. So, let's look at the car. It's the dash. I turned off the radio, but it's got all sorts of different controls and media and it'll play stuff from my phone. So, that's fun, but let's get out and take a look. So, there she is. Yay! She's so pretty. Don't have uh, plates yet, obviously. But yeah, lots of room in this car. Lots of trunk space for all my Amazon purchases. <laughs> so, yeah. Let me, let me get a good shot of her. There we go. She's so pretty. Okay, so you see her now. Um, I'm gonna go head to my mom's apartment and we're gonna go have dinner, even though it's like four o'clock. <laughs> but I haven't spent any like quality time with her lately. So yeah, I'm gonna do that and I'll see you guys when I get home. Hi guys, so okay, so I'm home. Um, I had dinner with my mom, which was nice, although she wasn't feeling very well, so we, we, we were gonna go and just get, um, like, there's this restaurant down there where you can get burgers or fish and chips, whatever it is, like, they have a full menu of different stuff, and then I was like, wait, mom, if we go to Casa, we can get queso, and she was like, oh, the lane's clear, you can get over, because <laughs> we were, like, right by it, and so we ended up going for Mexican, and... We had queso and um, we both, we both, so we ordered queso to share and then we both ordered an appetizer and she didn't eat any of her chicken wings and I ate one piece of my taquito and I was like, I'm full. <laughs> so we ended up taking food home. Um, she was like, I just don't feel well. I don't want to eat these chicken wings. I was like, okay, it's all right. It's important for me to spend some time with her because I feel like she gets neglected a little bit. Um, when I go north, I usually see the boys and that's about it. Like I'll make time for them and then I don't always make time for her and I feel bad about it. So I went and picked her up and she drove in my car or she rode in my car and she was very happy with my purchase and she said I did a good job. So that felt nice. Um, so yeah, let me explain the car, why I got a new car. Uh, some people didn't, um, must not have watched the vlog from vacation which I will post in the corner whatever or I'll try to remember um, so anyway while Brittany and I were on vacation we wrecked my car we got into some ice we hit a concrete barrier and we wrecked my car so we were stuck in Ohio for a couple days um, far from our friends and like Lou was actually leaving on vacation so he couldn't like come rescue us or hang out with us or anything so we got caught in this snowstorm it was like a two-day storm that hit the Midwest like really hard and it was it was not good 
Um, apparently like four people died on that freeway that day and so I just thank whoever was watching out for us that we were not one of those people. Um, it was, yeah, it was not a good situation. A lot of, there was like 70 something accidents. So, um, so I've been waiting for a couple weeks to find out, you know, what they're going to do with my car. And I was borrowing Roger's truck. We didn't have, when we got in the accident, we didn't, Roger and I didn't have, um, rental car insurance because we always have multiple vehicles and we didn't think we would you know be separated you know what i mean so we just never changed that and so now when i get new insurance i will be changing that um so we didn't have rental insurance so i had to rent a car we rented a chevy suburban carried me my dad and Brittany back from iowa no problems uh, it was really expensive though. Um, the total bill was like $1,400 and $990 of that was a drop fee or a drop off fee because we drove it from one state to another. So that was fun. <laughs> so I paid for that out of pocket. Um, yeah, that was, ugh. so I've sort of been looking at cars, but like I didn't want to pull the trigger on anything because I hadn't heard if my car was totaled or not. So I finally heard last week and last Sunday I'd went and I'd sat in a couple cars and I'd found one that I kind of liked. I really liked the Chevy Equinox. And <coughs> then uh, I ended up, <coughs> <coughs> sorry. I ended up going for test drives this Sunday and I found the Jeep Cherokee and I just loved it. So I went today and I put, a big chunk of change down most money I've ever had in my hand at one time so I put that down on the vehicle and then financed the remainder so I've got a car payment for <laughs> 60 months now which is fine five years is nothing and the way I pay my bills I always pay extra so I will you know be paying it off quick um, I probably will have it paid off within three or four years it's just how I've always been. I never pay the min minimums on anything. I just, yeah, that's just how I've always been. Um, that's how my mom taught me to keep my credit up. And so I have a really good credit score, so I had no problems getting a car loan. So I'm very happy. I'm very happy. Um, I, Brittany and I were talking today, and we got some final numbers on the trip that I kind of wanted to share with you guys. So we ended up spending a total of about $2,500 between hotel rooms and gas. $1,500 of that being hotel rooms and like a thousand of that being gas. Um, it's, there was two nights where we had two hotel rooms. So that was a little more expensive when my dad was with us. And once we got the Suburban, that was a lot more gas than my little Subaru. So we probably spent more than we anticipated. We also anticipated being home two days earlier than we were. So there was, you know, those two nights with two hotel rooms were more than we had expected to spend. But I thought for a 17 day trip, 18 day trip, that that wasn't too bad. Um, I thought that we budgeted fairly well and like I said, I used booking.com on my phone to find hotel rooms, got good deals. I feel really confident about, you know, that we did well on, you know, budgeting the trip. So <clears throat> I couldn't tell you what I spent on everything else because I used mainly like cash. Um, I think I only used my debit card like three times and then I put all the hotels on one credit card and gas on one credit card so you know and I've already paid those off when I got back I paid those off so well paid the portion paid a paid a huge portion on them I could have a little bit left on them um so yeah I think we're gonna get to the advent calendars because I want to get to bed a little bit early it is 6 15 now um this one's probably gonna be sort of a short vlog and I'm okay with that. I've been getting to bed at like 10 30, 11 o'clock, and for me that's pretty late because I get up at like 6. And I like to have 8 to 10 hours of sleep because I like sleep. <laughs> 
So let me put this David's tea back together. I'm gonna pull that coupon out and put it aside because I think I'm probably gonna order some more tea. Uh, what I do like about this, it's recyclable. These are all just cardboard, so that's awesome. And there's number four for the day. <coughs> I'm sorry, I think I might be getting a cold and I'm really sad about it. Okay, so what we're gonna do today, as I said earlier in the vlog, is I'm gonna open up today's tea and have some tea with you guys tonight but starting tomorrow we're gonna do the tea in the morning um this one is low caffeine so this is let it snow spiced eggnog tea not a huge fan of eggnog <laughs> all right so it has candied pineapple green tea black currants apple cinnamon white chocolate cloves stevia extract and natural flavorings contains milk and soy this one is a product of china they want the water about 185 degrees and it's going to steep for three to four minutes so i will go make that in a few let's open up the jam because we're gonna have jam as well tonight and then probably tomorrow morning we'll start with jam in the morning I just think it might be nice to, you know, have a little snacky snack before work and have tea while I'm doing my makeup. Ooh. Hi, babe. So today's is a lemon spread. Can you guys see inside the bottle? Or in the jar? Let's see if I can get it to focus. Please? Alright, so there's lots of zest in there. So this is going to be good. You know what might actually be good? Is this lemon spread maybe in some of the black tea like I had um, this morning that might be really nice as like a sweetener for the tea you want to say hi Can you say hi teeny hi <laughs> so I think we're actually gonna skip the cat advent calendar um, it's nice to have for them, but it's the same treats. They're just different, like, shapes. <laughs> so it's not that exciting for you guys. And they don't seem to want to eat them on camera, which is fine. They don't have to be, you know, mukbangers or whatever. <laughs> so let's do Freddy Funko. Pint Size Heroes. And then we'll do L'Occitane last. Let me move these back. Bring. All right, let's look at little, oh! It is silver and gold, Freddy Funko. Let's see if this will. There he is! A little silver and gold little buddy. Hello! I'm looking forward to putting these all together and like, oops, oh, goes there. <coughs> Again, sorry about the coughs. All right, and last, the L'Occitane for the day. Again, there's this. See if I can find number four. They're really hard to find. Fourteen. Two. Am I just really bad at this? There it is. So today's little tidbit inside the door is recharge your batteries, buy rechargeables, and save money. That's true. 
and it's better for the environment because batteries do not break down. There is a lot of places that will recycle batteries, so we can look into that. L'Occitane Ultra Rich Body Cream, 25% Shea Butter. My hands are super dry, so this should be nice right now. Oops. It's got a slight, some kind of, not even fruit, just, it must be the almond that someone was telling me about, that they their whole line is based around almonds. Oh, it's so silky smooth. Mm, it just smells delightful. All right, I'm gonna go brew my tea, and we'll try this little guy out on a piece of bread, and, yeah, and we'll go from there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Boo! All right. <laughs> Let's try this lemon spread. It's very juicy. So juicy. Not a huge fan of lemon. I think I said that. Oh, the juice is nice, though. A little bit of zest in there. Can't tell if you guys are able to see that or not. There we go. A little bit of zest in there. You know what? It's not bad. It's tart. It hits you right here. But it's not terrible. Um, not something that I would probably order again. It smells nice though. You know, this might be nice on like some chicken breast or a piece of salmon or something to just add a little bit of like a lemony flavor. Oh. Not my best one. So far, I think the cherry blackberry was my favorite. That was really, really, really good. All right, so I will say this tea was very chunky. I should've showed you guys, it's, it's super chunk. Probably not all the way steeped yet. I really want to get this video uploaded for you guys. Definitely smells eggnoggy. It's got the nice eggnog spices without that milky. <laughs> The part I don't like about eggnog is how thick and milky and like, it's a texture thing for me. <laughs> but this has a nice like subtle little nice flavor. I'm gonna add some of the jelly juice. Added all the jelly juice and the jelly. So that's fun. And that dissolved so quickly in there. So. That actually, that actually tastes nice. Uh, it's got that little extra citrusy flavor that makes it a little more Christmassy for me. I just like that jar, I'm sorry. There's a little bit on the outside. And it's. That's good. All right, I'm gonna sit here and enjoy the rest of this tea. And then, I, while I edit this video, and I will see you guys for Vlogmas Day 5 tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I love you guys.